That new girl at the office, she's got it all together. When it comes to fixing problems, just like Carly Simon said, nobody does it better. <laughs> but some of the guys are getting jealous. The boss favors her over most of the fellas. Hey guys, you know, get with the program. Your next boss might just be a woman. At the office she fixes problems. Guys get her to fix their problems. Hey, I've got problems too. Maybe you could fix a few. <laughs> Hey, fix it, girl. Can you fix my world? I've got problems too. Maybe you could fix a few. I took the fix it girl out to dinner. <laughs> we went to the city winery down in New York. It's right on the Hudson River, so it was a nice night. We sat outside and looked at the beautiful skyline of Jersey City. <laughs> um, I thought everything went really well in the state, but um, a couple weeks later, she posted on Facebook, currently not dating. Um, if you want to go out with me, write a 500-word essay explaining why you won't be wasting my time. <laughs> hey, fix it, girl. True. Can you fix my world? I've got problems, too. Maybe you could fix a few. Someone else is going to make us chuckle here, working out some of her comedy material. Akeisha, it's her first time performing here. She performed at Connecticut's Got Talent and Danger Fields, and she's working out some new material. So please welcome Akeisha. Thank you so much, everybody. Give it up for your host, Ken, over here. Isn't a great job? Yes, the government can. Give us all lies and make it all taste good. I know that's right. I'm a small business owner. I felt that right in here. Right in here. Yeah. And uh, Fix It Girl. I love that. I thought that was interesting, right? I said, who is pushing sexual harassment boundaries like Mr. Fix It Girl over here? You can tell he's the owner of the company. <laughs> now, did Fix It Girl date all the rest of the men in the company, or was it just you? All the rest. Everybody else, of course she did. She's the Fix It Girl. I love that. Yeah. Everybody give me a round of applause for making it all the way down here from Bridgeport. Woo! On this suspended license. Oh, no, that's right. Yes. Yes. Took the state troopers on a high-speed chase coming down here. I lost them. So Ken, I need you to turn this green. I just need this to be a green screen because I'm going to blend right in here. If they come upstairs, nobody knows me. Nobody knows me. I remember back in the day, right, like um, when the cops used to be dirty and they used to be on the take. They pull you over and us women could just show a little bit of cleavage and they let us go. Oh, was it just me? Okay. It was just me. <laughs> I be cracking myself up, you know? <laughs> yeah, but no, only only the, the skinny women can get away with that. I, I didn't do that. Only the skinny women can, you know, have the nice bodies and stuff, and then the cop leans in the car and lets you go. No, not me. I get all kinds of infractions. I get my license suspended. <laughs> Gotta take the classes over again. No, that, that never works for me. Um, I am uh, I'm not a perfect 10. My boss, she's a perfect 10, you know? They're skinny and, 
got to, you know, every, the guy's always paying her attention. She even had a nerve to complain that she was getting stalked. She's like, oh, Akeisha, they jumping out of my bushes. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling me 137 times. I gotta feel sorry for somebody like that. I can't even get a text back. <laughs> 137 times, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so my boss says to me, you know, uh, Akeisha, you can't keep getting these moving violations. You can't keep taking the cops on a high-speed chase. If you keep doing that, I'm going to have to let you go. That's what she told me, you know. I, I got upset, you know, and I said to her, well, you just get somebody else to come over here and sell all this cocaine on this table. <laughs> I don't believe I have to put up with that. You know, I'm just gonna hire my mom next week. <laughs> yeah. But I live in Bridgeport, Bridgeport, dirty politics. I think everybody who reads the news knows that we had a thousand, you know, um, what do you call it, when you have to go and vote again. We had, oh my God, we had about three or four of those. And Ganem finally comes on top again, you know? And people come to me, oh, Akeisha, how could, how could you guys vote? A criminal like that, a felon back in office again and again and again, and say to me, you know, do you know that he's paying people for their votes? Now, I'm a registered Republican, one of three African American <laughs> registered Republicans in Bridgeport, so you know that doesn't work out. But Keisha's not right, he's paying for votes, he's paying for votes. I said, he's paying for votes? Come on, that's ridiculous. They said, that's right, Akeisha, he's even paying student loans off. I said, what? Student loans? Get em, get em, get em. I'm Akeisha, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Come on back up here, Ken. Come on and get this one. Bring it again. Thank you. That's Akeisha.